Hi guys, this is Ash from Canvas. As you know, I am one of the, I believe, original first mods. Um, and today I'll be teaching you how to do latex layouts using GIMP. Excuse my accent, as you can tell, I'm not American. So with this technique, you could probably make something like this that is being shown on the screen. Um, the technique is completely easy once you have great control. I myself don't have a tablet so I know that this is also mouse compatible if you are good at using the mouse. Okay, open up a blank canvas. This is just for practice so I'm just going to use a small little thing, 400 by 300, get rid of your background, okay. Now we're going to click the rectangle select. I'm just going to make a square and we're here we're only using the shades black and white. Nothing else, nothing more. Um, so I'm just going to fill this with my black. Select none. Alright, there we have a black sheet. So you're probably like, oh, so how do we make this into that? Thing you just showed us it's simple we're gonna use a new layer for our white switch over from black to white and grab your paintbrush now this can be any size just like uh, unless you're gonna pretend that you don't know what I mean by any size and use some size like this <laughs> anyway so I'm just gonna choose a random size here gonna use one dot you can go down up if you want cross it's up to you but I'm just gonna use one dot since we're gonna be using the smudge tool here so just gonna bring this up a bit and we're gonna smudge it coming down see coming cross also make sure you don't smudge the um ends there like around here we don't want that to be smudged uh, just gonna bring down some of this with that All right now we're gonna use our blur tool we're gonna blur the insides not the outsides we're gonna blur the insides around here is looking a bit bulky so I'm just gonna erase some of around here a bit not too much. Right there we go. Now let's zoom out. Now it's kind of hard for you to. It's kind of hard for you to get things perfect. Like say you go and do it on this side. It's kind of hard to get them perfect and exact. So my advice to you would be to hit the duplicate button. Choose the flip tool. Flip that and move it exactly bring this forward a bit oh, it bring it forward move it exactly like that now we're going to merge that down and duplicate it once more go to layer go to transform rotate 180 degrees hit layer to image size so you would know exactly if you move it come up, up there we go we have our four sides layer merge down layer to image size okay now we have those parts it's not exactly finished since this is not how I finish it but if you want to go ahead and finish it like this then be my guess but what I usually do is I do something like change the opacity turn it down click another layer you can turn it down to how much ever you want to turn it down to that's what I usually do my opacity is not a specific level I just turn it down to how much I feel it looks better at Right, we're gonna do another dot here. I'm gonna just this time smaller with a smaller size brush. Come down, come across, blur this a little bit, not a lot. But I want this to come up a bit. There we go. 
zoom out once more and repeat the step of flipping, rotating, just repeat it. Gonna go quiet here for a bit. Okay, it's that gonna bring cross. Right. Merge down. There's image size, duplicate, layer, transform once more. This is a lot of time. This is a lot of time. And we're gonna just there we go, bring across bring it up a bit. And there we go. Now we're gonna merge that down. Usually when I do this, I go back to play with the second opacity because I'm gonna play with this opacity also. And then we'll get to the last part of the corner. So I'm just gonna turn down the back opacity then I'm just going to turn down this opacity a bit right that looks awesome to me I'm going to merge those together we're going to go back with a new layer once more this time we're going to use our pencil tool you can use the brush tool also just I think the pencil tool works better to get that little glossy effect just going to come down come across like this see look at that you, now, you can leave it like this if you want. There's no problem with leaving it like that. I all see it makes it look more shiny. Oh, it makes it look more shiny. Now we're going to zoom in. One, but if you don't want to leave it like that, you want to do it my way, you can go back with your smudge tool. Come down. Oh, mistake there. Come across. Zoom out. And we have it more shiny. We have it more shiny there, as you can see. You can leave it like that, but I'm just gonna play with the opacity a bit. See? I'm just gonna like create a new layer so I can like merge it down because I'm gonna flip this. Oh, why is my new layer not working? Okay, we're just gonna like use this then. Okay, never mind. Oh, sorry. Alright, I'm just gonna merge this down. You don't have to merge it down. I'm just merging it down. I'm gonna duplicate that. We're gonna repeat those steps. It's basically just repeating those steps for this little part. Oh, gotta get it exact. I think that, yep. We're gonna merge that down. Layer the image size. Yep, you know all of this already. Layer. Transform, rotate 180 degrees. Come here, we're gonna just put it there, and there we go. That is our corners. You can merge that down with the corners, and if you want to be more organized, say you're doing some big piece, you just gonna name that corner so you know, okay, this is the corners. Uh, see, it, it makes a difference blank box and now it looks more pvc ish and shiny now as for the lamps you basically do the lamps the same way with the, with the same technique Just say okay let me give you an example of one I usually do it with the brush so you can use the, the rectangle select tool to make your lines all straight and stuff but I usually don't use it because it you see how the brush makes hair rounder and this is more squarish let's show you an example select man. oops and this is more squarish the rounder points is is basically why I use the brush it looks much better okay let me show you See, we got, we got that up, oh, it's straight. But now look at this, look at the difference. The difference is, it looks more better to me. You can use that if you want. I have no problem with using that. It's just about taking this technique and making it something you can work with. Okay, we're just gonna smudge those coming across. You can smudge it however you want. I'm just gonna make this short since this is just a little tutorial. I'm doing for canvas for the first time, yay. I'm uh, just gonna smudge that. 
it doesn't have to be perfect don't smudge up top here don't smudge the top always smudge underneath the same goes for the sides but if the sides are going this way smudge this way never this way okay we're gonna use gonna just not smudge <laughs> blur sorry my bad um just gonna blur that just gonna blur that zoom out we're gonna fix that move it to where we want it just gonna position it right here okay and as you know we're just gonna go there there the image size there transform 180 whoop go uh give me a second <laughs> sorry about that um i've been away for quite a while on any of you and we're just gonna now you can leave it like this, you can go repeat this step, you know, how I did it with the corners. You can do it like that, and you can do it the same way for yourselves. But basically, you see that once you use this technique, your layouts will come out looking latexy, PVS, PVC. And you can make something, like I said, let's show you some examples here. Once you got the hang of it, and you know, shadows you can go do stuff like this where you have that and it looks awesome that's just an example of the css navigation menu which will which is a tutor tutorial i'll be doing soon for canvas as well and yeah that's basically it for the pvc tutorial hope you use this to some good use and this has been ash from canvas